here downtown New York at the One World Trade Center. This is a historic place of great sadness. There just seems to be so much sadness around our world. And I got news the other day that uh, a friend of mine has cancer and he started off with saying, I got the big C. Now, when we hear the big C, we always know the person's talking about cancer. But I think one of the worst letters in the alphabet, if we're gonna say the big something, is the big D, depression, discouraged. I know a lot of people have gotten cancer and they kept a positive mind frame and they were able to beat it. Now I'm not saying that's, that's the ticket, but what I have seen is those who get cancer and get depressed, who get discouraged, fail very quick. It's just not cancer that gets us with depression, discouraged, um, different discourses, the list goes on and on and on. But I think one of the things we need to remember is that's Satan's playground. In Proverbs, it says anxiety wears down the heart, but a good word encourages the heart. Now, I know I said a while back, you know, who's going to encourage you? I try to do that every week. But I want to challenge you this week. It's not only me. We can all do this. I know our world is feisty right now, and this protest is happening, and that bombing is happening. But you, God has called you to be the leader of your family, your community. I want to encourage you today. Start. start <laughs> I'm not going to edit that out. Start with encouragement. Speak truth. Always speak truth. Speak it in love. But most of all, encourage one another. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The gospel means the good news. Friends, I think it's about time we share some good news. Amen? Hey, I'm going to be back home tomorrow, but I hope I see you on Sunday. You know, if not, find a good Bible-based church to jump into. But always remember, God loves you and so do I. I pray I see you soon.